Hi everyone. This is Saravanan Sastravel from Trichy. I hope everyone is watching my YouTube channel. In case if you are watching my video first time, please do watch my previous videos too so that you can understand this channel better. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon notification so that in near future if I am uploading any new videos you will get a notification. Okay. Without any further delay, we will move on to today's topic. Leisure basic training. I could understand your inner mind that what this training about. What is leisure basic? For whom this training? What are the uses of the training session? I will explain you step by step so that you can understand the answers for the above questions. Please do watch the video fully without skipping so that you can understand the leisure basics. Okay. Now, <clears throat> uh, what we are going to cover on the leisure basic topics, I'll just explain you. And then <clears throat> we are going to cover the room type, room category, room view, meal plan, check-in, check-out, special notes special request okay now you will have a question for whom this training this leisure basic training especially for tourism students in case if they are have planning to specify in leisure holidays secondly the air ticketing staff due to covid everyone has to do multitasking to exit their position there are a's in ticketing whether whereas when it comes to the sales holiday packages or hotel booking, they felt uncomfortable. If they have a trained with the leisure basic, the terms and conditions, terminologies, they will have a confident enough to sail the holiday package too. People who are planning to shift the vertical to leisure background, they can for them these videos too. The people who are planning to start a new travel agent and then corporate travel coordinator they can understand and check the check-in check-out timing special request for their executive who are traveling in near future okay now we are moving to the room types the different types of rooms in the hotels will be explained the rooms category rooms are categorized and priced according to the type of bed number of occupant, number of bed, decoration, specific furniture, or futures and special event, the, spe the special theme available in the rooms. The hotel front office assistant should be aware of the property room type categories. Before he <clears throat> uh, allocate the rooms to the guest, he has to make sure the rooms are ready as per the guest specifications request. Example, the guest may ask uh, twin bedroom or uh, twin bed uh, non-smoking rooms, etc. etc. And then he has to allot the room accordingly as per the client's wish. So in this type room type, we have four room types out there. One is single room and then double room or twin bedded room, triple room category, and quad room. Now we will move on to what is single room category? Single type of room category is single room is called single occupancy room. This room is for only one person equipped with one single bed. Approximately the room size will be 37 meters square to 45 meters square. And now we move on to the next room type. It's twin bedded room. The twin room with twin bedded may be occupied by one or more per persons in a room. This is exclusively for if it, any two friends are traveling so they can book the room as a twin room bed. <clears throat> it can accommodate two adults and one children under the age of 12 years and they can share with the existing bed. 
and you can see this room type will be like two separated beds so that most of the executives who are traveling for their business purpose the corporate travel used to give this twin room categories often and then next we will move on to the next category it's for double room category this double room category can accommodate two adults and one child approximately if it is a two child we have to see the ages of the children suppose if it is the first child is uh, seven years and second child is five years then it can be easily accommodate all four together in a room and then why people are just uh, asking for double room category if they how we have to see whether the room category can accommodate four persons then we have to see the spaces also sometimes you have that uh, extra mattress can be put in the same room type some hotels will have uh, very uh, less spaces so it's not possible especially in hong kong we can we cannot put any extra bed the rooms will be a little bit slow or like a, a very small in size next type room type will be the triple room category the triple room category it can accommodate three adults and one child maximum so triple category will be either this form of one twin bed and one single bed cot also sometimes it will be three separated bed and sometimes it will comes under like one double bed and one sofa come bed you can see in the third photo you can see there is a sofa come bed if you just remove this desk and then you can just put this two trolley and then you can just make it as a triple room like child bed will be there sofa come bed okay next one we will go and see room category the quad room category the quad room it can accommodate four adults and one child in a room basically this is a bunker bed they will call us a bunker bed so it is for the group movement people who are traveling students who are traveling they used to take this type of rooms or if any big family like more than four to five people they used to take this type of room type it's called quad room category and then next we will see the room categories room categories will be classified into standard room classic room deluxe room club or executive level business travelers used to take this type of rooms and then duplex room and then studio room and suite room and suite room will be categorized as junior suite royal suite and executive suites so we will just cover this topic one by one standard or classic room this is the basic category of the room type in every hotel the standard rooms will be furnished with table shelf and all those thing and normally people will have a doubt what is the standard room and deluxe room Uh, difference between the standard room and deluxe room will be the latest renovated is called a deluxe room or the higher category room when you build a, a construct a hotel they normally used to build uh, three to four uh, floors out of that first floor will be like single room uh, standard classic rooms second category will be deluxe the room construction the room size and then the amenities everything will be the same however the inner decor and all those things will be latest renovated that's why it will be a little bit higher cost most of the time the standard room and the deluxe room this is the difference so in the standard room <clears throat> you can see it can accommodate two people sorry one second Uh, next one will be a deluxe category room this deluxe category room size 
<clears throat> it will be uh, very spacious in case if any two children are there so we can have this extra mattresses in this room so normally people if you ask for any hotel in uh, hong kong dal they will just ask you to stay they will count the head normally in europe also they will count the head uh, if it is any children's also they will ask you to take a new room or they will ask you to go for an higher category room like deluxe category room now you will have a question why this room types are not allowing for uh, four children or two children in a room it is because of the safety reasons number one if it is any fire uh, unfortunately if it is any fire then we have to go for an evacuation so it is not easy to evacuate all together in single time that is the reason mostly they will allow second one is the hotels are uh, ancient hotels will be like especially in europe they were uh, converted hotels will be like uh, earlier it was an a museum earlier it was a uh, small uh, uh, what we can say government uh, uh uh we can say that government buildings will be converted as a heritage hotel so they will have the rooms will be very small in size so that is the reason they are not allowing uh kids in same room so they will ask you to go for a higher category like deluxe room category so deluxe category is nothing but latest renovated number one secondly this will be like more spacious than the standard room category next we will move on to the club or executive room category this club room executive category is uh, normally located in the higher floor these type of rooms will be have there have a separate check in and check out check out counter this rooms is especially for the business travelers or the executives who travel for business purposes and these room types will have uh, uh, access of executive lounge on this lounge they will have uh, the free like free food beverages and then uh, tea coffee will be served all the time so if any guest want to uh, meet over there they will conduct a small meetings over there in that executive room category in the lounge so they will have in uh, free flow of uh, tea coffee and all those things and one more thing the executive lounge access they have a special ca categorized like uh, executive secretary in case if any any contract ever been signed you need to fax they have assist uh, they they will be assist assisting to send the fax and all those things also in case if you want to type any contract or something like that there are some people will be there to helping out you there this is the most important thing for this executive type of rooms and then we will move on to next category duplex room duplex room it is a two level of room it consists of uh, one bedroom on the floor and a living room on sorry living room on the floor and bedrooms will be on a uh, second floor so that uh, if uh, these type of rooms will be uh, taken by celebrities and then uh, Uh, sports personalities so if they have want to contact any uh, uh, like a meeting or something like that they will just uh, do in that uh, couch itself and they 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 do, don't want to show that they where they are staying and all those things so that will be uh, second floor and mostly the cruises will have this type of rooms the cruise uh, if any uh, people who are planning to go for a cruise they normally used to take this type of duplex rooms and then next category studio room uh one second the studio room is a uh, bed with a couch which can be converted into a bed this may have, this may have also an additional bed too Uh, normally the studio room will be uh, like for two people who can accommodate and some of the studio rooms have this kitchenette facilities too so that you can just have um, if you want to uh, uh, prepare your breakfast by yourself you can just do that and mostly that rooms will be an l shaped 
and uh, easily it can accommodate two people and next we will go to suit rooms A suit room in the hotel or a public accommodation, such as the cruise ships, denotes, according to the most of the dictionary definitions, it's a connecting room. And under one number of rooms, it means the suite room is basically two to three rooms will be interconnected. And uh, mostly it will be like uh, difference between the suite room and the studio room will be there is no partition in the studio room and suit room will be have partitions like two three if it is like two families together they want to uh, stay together they will have a suit room then it will be easily they can accommodate more than three to four people mostly people from royal families they used to take a suit room so that one room they will accommodate and another room will be their bodyguards will be there their security their uh, secretaries will be staying in the next room so that if they want to they contact any meeting or something like that they'll just have a, these type of rooms and then the street room can be classified into two three types like royal suite a uh, one bedroom suite two bedroom suite and sometimes it's uh, like similar to the apartments also the suit room normally will be uh, 70 meters square to 100 meters square next we will move on to the room views the rooms view categories will be like city view room garden or terrace view room harbor view fountain view mountain view pool view and then sea view rooms sea facing room sea side rooms panoramic view now we will just have a look uh, the first option will be the city see city we will okay you can see over here the city <clears throat> mostly the tv rooms will be in the top floor only so you can have you see that city view room this is the type of city view rooms next only garden or terrace view room you can see the garden room over here you can see the garden and terrace room you can see that terrace eiffel tower next one will be the harbor view and uh, hong kong we will have that harbor view and in cochin also we have that some of the hotel will have that harbor view and next one will be a fountain view uh, in dubai you can see that uh, you have that fountain view will be there and then mountain view in swiss alps you can see that mountain views pool view room mostly especially like uh, in greece we have this room type swimming pool room mostly all the hotels will have the swimming pool room next we will just move to sea view room a uh, sea view is uh, also called ocean view room it is one where you will have a view of the ocean from the your room in this room category uh, it will be very visible from your room but it may be necessary to the first thing you should wear uh, see when you look outside and next we will just move on to sea facing room sea facing is nothing but you have the uh, you have the uh, you can just see the sea but not uh, like full fledged you will have that uh, garden will be like trees will be hiding and all those things you won't have the full view of the view it will see facing is like its uh, room will be located 
facing the sea uh, simply we can say that uh, <clears throat> ocean facing will be the room uh, for example in pondicherry we have lee pramadan hotel you can see that there will be a road side and then after that you can see that sea sea will be there next one sea side room it means your room is on the side of the hotel and if you stand on the balcony you can see only the side view of the sea not a uh, like panoramic or something like that next one will be panoramic view of the room this is 360 degree you can see the room type from your uh, from your room you can see that all the views it will be like uh, there is no hiding or something like that you can see the room uh, you can see the view, all the view very fully it's called panoramic view next one will be uh, the meal plan the meal plan according to the meal plan they have that uh, four to five type of meal plan one is like european meal plan this is only a room only basis there is no lunch and dinner will be uh, added uh, normally people used to go for uh, sightseeing and all those you those people used to take this european plan so that in the afternoon lunch they can be taken the food uh, whenever they go outside they will have that lunch on uh, sightseeing and secondly continental plan this will be with the uh, breakfast basis they will take a breakfast uh, they will take a breakfast on the hotel and uh, lunch and dinner will be in outside of the hotel um this is also the people who uh, used to go for outing for sightseeing and all they, those those people used to take this type of cp plan and american plan will be mostly resorts especially in maldives they used to take american plan like breakfast lunch and dinner because you cannot uh, travel for uh, travel to other places because there is no sightseeing and all in maldives so they used to spend their time with their uh, either in the resort itself and uh, <clears throat> most probably they will have that activities like water based sports activities so people normally used to take the breakfast lunch and dinner all together in uh, in the resort itself moreover if you want to go to another resort you need a boat or you need a um um uh, flight so that's the reason they they normally used to take american plan over there in maldives and then modified american plan is like sometimes they do people who don't want to take a uh lunch they want to skip the lunch and they will take only the dinner then it will be like modify american plan will be better for option for them it is like modify american plan is simple that they will take breakfast either lunch or dinner it is according to their choice and mostly they will people used to take um this type of uh, plan will be frequent travel they used to take with um uh, um modified american plans only and next one is all inclusive plan all inclusive plan in the sense uh, breakfast lunch dinner will be served provided and then you have that uh, the beverages and uh, alcohol non alcohol will be provided in this type of all inclusive and most people like uh, staying in resort types of maldives mauritius all the island hotel they have these facilities okay i hope Uh, everything is clear now in case if you have any doubt please to uh, comment on this comment box so that i can just revert back to you and next we will move on to check in check out uh, the universal time for check in and check out will be 1400 hours for check in and check out will be 1200 hours normally people used to come for early morning flight if they are arriving they have to mention the timing that they are coming earlier so normally they will have that room available uh, only at 2 pm in case if they are coming earlier they have only two choices one is they have to wait 
in the launch or they can just put the luggages in the launch and then they can go for sightseeing or go for a, a restaurant and then spend the time in case if they don't want to spend their time in along this one they whenever they want to uh, come and they want to check in then they have to take a second option will be they have to pre book their hotel accommodation one day earlier on that case when they have pre book one day earlier they will have rooms ready whenever they come in and most probably when why this timing they are giving 1200 hours and 1400 hours means you suppose a client is check out at 12 hours and immediately the housekeeping department coordinate to clean the room and make sure that all the amenities were in place that's why it will take a minimum of 2 to 3 hours so that's why it, they have that check in and check out timing will be different of course some of the hotel will have the 1200 hours check in check out timing but they will just make sure that the rooms will be ready before they give hand over to the clients and next we will move on to special notes the special notes are like <clears throat> just to inform the hotel to make sure that uh, these people uh, have the special notes sometimes it will be like honeymooners why we are just mentioning the honeymooners they will have the honeymoon amenities like uh, cake and then the flower decorations will be sometimes they will give a free of cost sometimes it will be a chargeable and secondly it will be check in and check out time we have to mention the check in and check out time to the hotel properly so that the front office executive will understand uh this room is booked and blocked by someone so the, he won't uh, allocate the room to any other people and he will wait until the guest has been ca- arriving and in case if it is any delay or something like that the um, front office assistant will just call back that client and make sure that they are on the way or if there is any uh, problem or something like that when uh, finding their address location etc it always will be useful Uh, to the front office and uh, mostly we have to mention the timing of what exact that uh, expected time to be arrived so that it will, it will be very easy to check in and check out and next one is client arriving after 7 pm this is most important thing most of the hotels will be like uh, they have a last room allocation it's called uh, lra they used to wait for the guest because the check in time is 2 pm and then check out time is 12 uh, afternoon so they will wait for the uh, people who from 4 pm and then if it is any delay or something like that they will just make sure that uh, the flight is arriving uh, late night or something like that they will call the client and check whether they are coming or not in case if they are not coming uh, 100% then they will have have any demand in the room so they will give the hotel room to the other person who really need this rooms and next will be disabled room or physically challenged and pet friendly hotel okay we will just go one by one this is the animonos and disabled room you can see that disabled room normally the rooms will be have easy access <clears throat> this type of room mainly designed for that uh, disabled guests and it requires uh, the hotel must be provide um, all the accessories should be like uh, easy like the switchboard will be very easy uh, they can uh, it will be uh, down not in the two height or something like that and he, uh, the client can easily their uh, wheelchair can be accessed everywhere and then the washroom will be have that side bars and all those things and especially this type of room we should make sure that they are not uh, accommodating any kids because uh, since that switchboard and all those things are uh, lower they have chances to people the kids may have uh, go and just keep their hands over there in electric and get shocked so 
the next type of room will be pet friendly hotel mostly people used to look in us they used to look for pet friendly hotels uh, just to accommodate their pets pet friendly hotels are which offer a range of amenities designed accommodated for pet owners in this hotel the pet owners are get uh, groomed and service menus for the pets also and uh, even in uh, kodaikanal also we have some of the hotels have this facility pet friendly hotels are there next next will be like special request special request or we can request however it is subject to availability uh, we can see that special request like non smoking room smoking room early check in late check out client arrival without voucher high floor low floor interconnecting room adjoining room adjacent room calm or quiet room etc first one will be a uh, smoking and non smoking room Okay. Many hotel will provide both a smoking and a non-smoking room for the guest, not to minimize the effect of the second-hand smoke exposure on non-smoking guest. Second one will be a early check-in and late check-out. As we discussed earlier, that early check-in will be subject to availability because if the clients are still staying in the same room. and it was allocated to us it will take minimum 1400 hours to check in that is our normal check in time so if the guest is already there and they have to make sure that the guest is check out out 12 and noon and then the rooms will be ready early check in and check out is subject to availability since i told you that uh, there is a two option in case if you want to early check in you have to pre book number 1 and uh, for late check out also the same in case if your flight is like uh, 9 pm late night and what you can just do either you can check out at 12 noon and you can go for a sightseeing out and you can keep the luggage in concierge so that they'll make sure that your luggage also safe and then while well, like 6 o'clock you can just come back and get your luggages and you can just directly go to your airport this is an option other option is like in case if you lay, need a late check out they will charge 50 percentage of the room rent so early check in and late check on check out is depends upon the occupancy of the room next one client arriving without voucher this will be in, uh, suppose if the clients are uh, booking a hotel in last minute they are going uh, without any vouchers like uh, the corporate people used to travel like this and then the corporate travel coordinator can do one thing he can just send a fax or email to the hotel directly and uh, you can just give a call to the front office or reception to make sure that the client is arriving without voucher and you can just send a copy to them so that if the client arriving without voucher they can just have a name and the number if any reference number booking reference number he can just provide that one or he can just give his passport number as per this uh, booking name so that they can check in smoothly next one will be high floor and low floor uh sometimes people will look for high floor just to avoid that families and the kids uh, um like screaming and all those things they used to prefer high floor some people will look for low floor the low floor people who looking they have some phobia like fear, fear of heights they used to have low floor and people who are uh, aged uh, senior citizens they used to look for low floor because they don't want to go up and down the elevator and all those things and they can easily move their luggage to the low floor so they can move around easily once can i'll just show you the photos of this lower floor high floor and other things once again so this is the higher floor you can see the panoramic view of that city 
this higher floor normally used for the people who go for business travel they used to have prefer the higher floor because they don't want to uh disturb they will have that rooms will be uh, without any noises or something like that <clears throat> typically we can say that higher flow means less surrounding traffic of people and we will get the panoramic view area also and if the lift uh, hotel has a lift uh, referring to the city hotel and uh, times of the elevator traffic could be a little annoying that's the reason they used to take it higher floor rooms and secondly lower floor room as i told you that these type of uh, floor rooms are requested by uh, senior citizens lower floor in a hotel is the first floor of the level uh, it is a short distance from the first floor some elderly guests don't like climbing stairs so that they given the lower floor and next one we will move to adjoining rooms adjoining rooms is like uh, if we have a group of people uh like uh two three families together they request for the room on same floor like uh, rooms by just nearby so that they will have a <clears throat> uh like a adjoining rooms is nothing but uh, they have a common wall but no interconnection that is a typical name for joining rooms next is adjacent room adjacent rooms is like rooms close to each other that is in the same floor and uh, so that people can just um <clears throat> move to each and every uh, all the rooms the room will be close to each other perhaps across the wall it is a typical uh, meaning for adjacent room and next one will be connecting room the connecting room will be uh, with individual entrance door from outside and connecting doors in between this type of rooms is like called as suite rooms or these facilities connecting rooms just can move between rooms and without going through the hallway that is the main purpose and next one thank you i hope the above information presentation is clear to you now you can understand the leisure basics and air ticket agents can sell the holiday packages with confidence and if you have any questions please please feel free to contact me so that i will revert back asap i have mentioned my contact detail on the description for your reference and in case if you have any doubts or clarification you can just uh, put it in the notification comment box also so that i can just revert back as well as possible thank you let us conclude the brief topic for my happy clients let's start as i told you earlier this video will helpful for tourism students tour operators travel agents corporate travel coordinators tour guide tour manager etc based on the below conclusion let us dive in first we will see the room types room type is categorized into four types single room double or twin bedded room triple room quad room a single room assigned to one person equipped with one single bed the room sizes are generally between 37 square meter to 45 square meter it's ideal for corporate travel adventure travelers and backpackers next we will move on to double or twin bedded room a double room assigned for two people may have one or more beds the room sizes are generally between 
40 meters to 45 meters square. This rope type preferred by newly married couples and family with kids. Next, we'll move to twin sharing. A twin sharing room with two beds may be occupied by one or more people. The room size are generally between 32 meters square to 40 meters square. It's ideal for group travelers, corporate travelers. Next, we'll move on to triple capital. <clears throat> the triple room that can accommodate three persons in a room. The room sizes are generally between 45 meters square to 65 meters square. They normally offer one double bed with one extra bed or three single beds. Sometimes it will be a one king size bed plus sofa compact. These type of rooms are ideal for families with kids two families traveling together and student communities. Next, we will move on to the quad room type. Quad room is a room assigned for four people in a room. The room sizes are generally between 70 meters to 85 meters. Quad room is called as bunker bed room two. This type of room is ideal for families and student communities. Next, we will move on to the room category. The room category has classified into standard or classic room. The standard room includes all kinds of basic facilities like table, chair, desk, cupboard, layer, television, etc. This is the base category of room in a hotel. And secondly, we will move on to deluxe. The deluxe is something that extra fancy or higher quality of a deluxe room. And simply we can say that the latest renovated room is known as deluxe room. And in deluxe room, it can accommodate uh, children with extra mattress because it will be a spacious room. Next, we will move on to club or executive level. The club or executive level is mostly booked by corporate travelers. Since this room has a separate check-in counter, the rooms always on higher floor. The executive rooms will have access of uh, lounge access. So they will have unlimited tea, coffee, beverages will be served. And most important thing, uh, normally why the corporate people are just booking these type of hotels, they have a personal secretary assistant in club launch. In case if they have any contract to be signed or to be faxed, they normally used to assist. Next, we will move on to duplex category. The duplex, it is a two level of room. It consists of living room on the ground and bedroom on second floor. For example, the mostly the cruise liners will have these type of rooms. And now the top hotels in Dubai also these duplex rooms are famous. Next, we will move on to studio room. A room with a studio bed, a couch which can be converted into a bed, may also have an additional bed. In simple, we can say that a room without any partition is called a studio room. Next, we will move to suit room category. The suit room is generally <clears throat> categorized into three that is, junior suite, royal suite, and executive suite. First, we will see the suit room category. Suit rooms is, comes in at different sizes. The basic suit or executive suite comes with separate living spaces connected to one or more bedrooms. This setup is something also called as master suite a mini suit or a junior suit. The suit refers to a single room with a bed and a sitting area. And most of the suit rooms will have the kitchen facilities too. Especially the presidential suit and royal suit, 
uh, we have a butler services they, they used to cook exclusive for this guest okay next we will move to the room views first one the city view the room will access a city view is called city view room normally it will be on higher floor second category garden or terrace room if your room has an access of garden or terrace it's known as garden or terrace room terrace view we can say that in eiffel tower uh, we can see the eiffel tower from paris is called the terrace view room. next we will move on to harbor or river or mountain if a hotel has a room view with an harbor it's called harbor view room for example harbor plaza hong kong and in cochin also we have some harbor rooms next one will be river side room the taj room in cochin has a river view room next one will be mountain view if we go to swiss or any hill station we will have a mountain or creek view creek view room this is called a mountain or creek view next we will move to sea view room sea view room this means basically you can see uh, from your room you can see the sea outside without any distraction or something like that it's called a sea view next one will be a sea facing room this means you cannot see the sea directly that means if you are on the second floor and you have some uh, trees will be covered so it will be high depth whereas the room will be facing the sea this is called sea facing next one will be sea side view this is like this if you see uh, if you go to a balcony and you can see the side view of the room sometimes it won't be visible too much so it will be like a one side only you can just see swimming pool view swimming pool room rooms normally will have a city hotels now they have the swimming pool view room if you can see the uh, from a room to a uh, swimming pool then it's a swimming pool room mostly in maldives mauritius and all the islands they used to have a swimming pool room panoramic view a room with 360 degree wide and unobstructed is called panoramic view next we will move on to the meal plan the meal plan are generally there are four type of meals plans and practices all over the world okay. <clears throat> uh, the meal plan will be if it is like bb means bed and breakfast ro means room only that is room only there is no breakfast it is called european plan to next one is half board basis half board basis in the sense either breakfast or lunch or dinner that is uh, any meal that is a uh, like mostly will be provided by uh, maldives hotels will used to have a half board basis plan they used to provide breakfast and either lunch or dinner in case if the guest is taking the lunch then they cannot take the dinner in case they are not taking the lunch then they can take the dinner it's like that full board basis full board basis means all meals together it's also called american plan too. breakfast lunch and dinner will be provided mostly the island hotels like mauritius maldives used to have this type of room because you cannot go out to any restaurant to have your dinner or lunch so that's why they mostly used to book for full board basis and last one is ai that is all inclusive all inclusive means the all the full three meals will be included whereas sometimes the clients will have for uh, beverages uh, soft drinks and alcoholic and non alcoholic will be inclusive in all inclusive basis that is known as all inclusive basis <clears throat> next we will move on to check in and check out as a general rule you can see that check in 
normally will be 1400 hours and checkout will be 1200 hours. The time hotel will have the early check-in and late check-out, but is always subject to availability. Next, we will move on to special notes. These special notes are in order to inform the hotel that we are coming for so and so reason, so that the uh, front office assistant will allow the room accordingly, the guest preference, especially like honeymooners. They used to provide a room uh, in the cottage or hotel uh, without any disturbance or something like that, mainly. And the rooms will be decorated with flower petals and all those things. And they used to give a honeymoon amenities like a small piece of cake in the room, and the rooms will be decorated, etc. Will be honeymoon or special. Note. Next one, check in and check out. Normally, if a guest is arriving, uh, check in, it will be 1400 hours. Sometimes they have flight is like early morning, six o'clock, they will arrive, and the client will ask for an early check-in or late check-in, early check-in or late check-out. So in that case, if they want to have an early check-in, it is always subject to availability. Since the clients uh, check out the hotel, if it is the hotel rooms are ready, then only it's possible. Next one, clients arriving after 7 p.m. The last room allocations normally were seen after 7 p.m. 7 p.m. So in case if a client is booking, they will hold the room until 7 p.m. and they'll check. Sometimes in case if they are not arriving, they will give a call and check whether they are arriving, they are on the way or not. In case they are canceling, then they will allot the room to uh, people who really need this room. Next one is attendment. The hotels will uh, normally uh, won't allow the pet animals. Whereas some of the hotels will have allow the pet friendly hotels. The pet friendly hotels are hotels which offer the range of amenities and designated accommodate to pet owner. Okay, and in Pondicherry we have some some of the hotels have this pet uh, friendly hotels are there. Next one is disabled room, or we can call this as accessible room. This type of room is mainly designed for disabled guests and it is required by law that the hotel must provide a certain number of accessible rooms to avoid discrimination too. Normally these type of rooms will have this uh, switchboard on lower and uh, they will make sure that uh, their wheelchair access is possible on the room. Next one is VIP. Uh, <clears throat> very important person is known as VIP. The celebrities, the royal family, these people will <clears throat> have, um, we need to inform earlier to the hotel that the certain VIPs are coming so that the client, uh, hotel management will make sure that security, safety reasons are in order. CIP means commercially important person, especially if any corporate travel people are traveling, we used to put them CIP. That means the person is a commercially important person. You need to make sure that everything in order. Last but not least, we'll just move on to special request. The special request is also similar like special note. Uh, special request is also subject to availability too. First one will be smoking or non-smoking room. The smoking, uh, it is preferred by that. Uh, some people will prefer smoking room and some people will own they will have allergy, so they will prefer smoking or non-smoking room based on his uh, wish. Second one is early check-in and late check-out. As I told you, uh, normal check-in time is 1400 hours and check-out will be 12 noon. In case if we need an early or late check-out, we need to inform the hotel. There is a two options there in order to avoid this early and late check-in. Either you need to go for, for one day previously we need to book and block. Secondly, we can just leave the luggage in concierge and then we can just go to restaurant and spend some time. When the room is ready, we can check it.
and next one is client arriving without voucher this is especially especially used to uh, be in corporate especially people who are uh, uh, working in rig they will have it uh, they will just book the room in last minute and they'll just they'll go to hotel directly the seamen also they are similar to the same they will go to hotel directly without any voucher so the travel coordinator has to make sure that we used to send a fax or send an email notification to the concerned hotel that client is arriving without voucher and acknowledge the voucher acknowledge them the room without any hassle next one is high floor or low floor this is also depends upon uh, the client's wish higher floor means less surrounding traffic of people you get more panoramic view of the area also if the hotel has a lift referring to the city hotel at the time of the elevator traffic could be a little annoying so mostly the corporate people and people who go for some business purpose they prefer high floor rooms and low floor a low floor in a hotel is for first floor or a level of that certain distance from the first floor sometimes the elderly guest don't like to climb the stairs so they give them the low floor and some people will have a phobia also fall of heights so those people also used to prefer the calm and quiet type of thing okay i hope everything is clear so let's wind up have a nice day